Good day everybody, Andrew Rains of Golf Academy here. Welcome, thanks for tuning in. As always, pleasure to have you along watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit more product review um, from a company called Ben Ross. Done a couple of product reviews already on Ben Ross. If you haven't seen those, check them out. A little bit of background on Ben Ross, British based company. Been around for quite some time now. I've got lots of facts on here about Ben Ross. 1997 they were founded, so they've been around the block a little while. Not uh, a particularly well known name, certainly not out in the States and Canada and uh, North America. Unfortunately, I don't think the product's quite got to you guys over there, but hopefully, in the fullness of time, it will. But it's been sold over here in the UK and in Europe, and it's a fantastic brand. I've worked on and off with Ben Ross. For a number of number of years and um, this year their product line is very strong fantastic range i want to talk to you today about this driver this is the htx type r driver now i've already done a review on the standard htx which is a fixed head this one's an adjustable we've got some adjustability in here we've also got a slightly uprated shaft in this one we've got the kurakagi shaft and this one i will tell you a little bit about this is the Kurokagi Silver Thai, Thai NI shaft which is a very high performance shaft folks we see this shaft fitted in a lot of very top end clubs now the thing to remember about this club is the price which I will tell you a little bit more about the price um, at the end of the review a little bit more about the, the key features We've got a two-piece cast construction, obviously the head's made out of titanium, 460cc. Thin crown technology moves the centre of gravity low and forward for reduced spin and the penetrating ball flight. Um, CT response channel, here's the response channel which we've seen in a few, few other drivers, similar sort of thing. Uh, increases ball speed resulting in greater distance, we all like the sound of that. Uh, ten and a half degrees but it's adjustable. 45 inches long, hooray, love 45 inches drivers, perfect D2 swing weight. So, great looking driver, you know, as you look at it, as it sits down, it sits nice and square. We've got a Tour of Velvet Golf Pride grip on here as standard. It looks great, we're going to hit some. So, I'm going to be out of shot, folks, um, as I hit some shots here, but I'm on the first at the Belfry. It does play a little bit downhill this, so the yardages will go up a little bit from, from normal, so we're factoring that in that it's playing a bit downhill. Uh, there's no wind or anything like that, so let's hit a couple of shots and see if we can get some numbers to look at. It does look really good behind the ball. Okay, first shot, we're going to take all of these, good or bad. Just push that one a little bit and it's probably going to find, yep, yeah, find the bunker. Let's just have a little look at the, the numbers as we go. So it wasn't that far offline, but just enough to pick up the, the fairway bunker. 101, 102 miles an hour club speed, that average for me. 13 degree launch angle. I've got this set in absolutely standard at the moment. 10 and a half degree loft, not open or closed, neutral setting. 256 carry, very decent. Spin rate, which we're all very concerned about these days. 2550 total backspin, so 13 degree launch angle, 2550 backspin, giving me 256. Now that, folks, is pretty good. It's very good, actually. Wouldn't expect more, too much more out of my Ping G driver, if anything, actually. So let's hit a couple more, see if we can find the fairway. We've got one right, we've got one left. You know what that means, don't you? Next one's bound to be down in the middle. That was horrible. Just came right over the top of that one. Couldn't do the club justice. Here we go. And that one I've hit pretty good. Caught it a little bit out the bottom. Take it. I'll take it. Pitched at 251, run out to 282. Very happy with that. It feels good. It feels very good. Um, it feels really solid. It feels premium. 
you know, you, you look down at a driver, you hit a driver. For me, within two or three drives, I kind of know if I like it. And this feels really, really solid. It's, uh, it's very impressive. I'm going to keep going. That one I've ripped, that's about as good as I'm going to hit it, folks. Could stand there till next Christmas. I'm not going to hit it a lot better than that. Let's just run out to. Oh, my word. Okay. Let's bring up the detail that I really did, by my standards, crush that one. Start over here. 11 and a half degree launch. 1885 spin. Strike was good, there's a little imprint on the ball there, I've got 103 miles an hour of club speed, I've got a 2.6 carry. This plays a little downhill I know, so it's running out to 2.95. That's doable, you know, under the right conditions. This, my friends, is very impressive. I'm going to give you a price, okay, now remember that this is in Great British Pounds, and this is Ben Ross's recommended retail price right now um, I'm shooting this video in May 2016 so if you watch it in the future I know prices will change and I know some people don't like to talk prices but why not they've got it printed in the brochure so recommended price you ready for this £179.99 tell you what let's live dangerously let's go with £180 it for 180 quid sorry uh, pounds this is an incredibly impressive driver. Would I put this in my golf bag and game it? Too right, I would. I wouldn't have any problems. I this is for me works as well as my Pin G driver. I could put this up again. I could have 10 drivers, and I don't think I get anything to go much better than this. So it just goes to show you, doesn't it, folks? Just because we don't know the name, just because you know they don't pay millions of dollars and pounds to tour players to use this equipment doesn't mean it's not a great driver because it is it's amazingly good i'm blown away this this range of clubs by ben ross has really got me thinking all you've got to do people who can buy this is not worry about the name if people say who are ben ross never heard of them doesn't matter don't don't be phased by that go and try it Go and get on a launch monitor. Go and put up against what you're using. You will not be disappointed. It's a fantastic driver. HTX Type R from Ben Ross. Go and try it. You will love it. Thanks for watching. Post comments down below. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks again.